Canon's done it again. They've killed off another fast wide open prime lens. But is there hope for early 2023? Details coming up. But first, I encourage you to subscribe and choose all notifications so you're kept informed on the latest camera gear news and rumors. Canon discontinued 12 prime EF lenses in February this year. At the time, only nine remained in production. The 24 millimeter, the 35, the 50 f1.2, which I've used for several years. It's a terrific lens. The 50 f1.4 and f1.8, two 85 millimeters, the f1.4 and f1.8, as well as two primes, the 400 and 800 millimeter. And now we see the chalk drawing of the 24 millimeter f1.4 lying on the ground as it's been killed off as well, further reducing the number of EF lenses still in production. In January 2020, Richard Shepard, a senior manager at Canon Europe, said, Today, we've launched 10 critically acclaimed lenses, and as it's a new system, we plan to continue this, launching more RF lenses while still fully supporting the EF lens system. And of course, should the market demand it, we're ready to create new EF lenses, but for now, our focus is on the RF. Two key phrases in that quote, the first being, should the market demand it, we'll create new EF lenses. Yeah, right, like that's going to happen. You see, this quote came back in 2020, and at the time, Canon was rushing to get to market with some new camera bodies and lenses, and we got the Canon EOS R5 and R6 later that year. Up until that point, all we had was the EOS R and the RP, and it wasn't looking very good for Canon in terms of their offerings for their bodies to get everybody over from DSLRs, the ones that haven't left Canon, and of course with some new RF lenses. Well, here we are at the end of 2022, and there's only about eight or less EF lenses in production. Many of them have been killed off, and the 24 millimeter is the last one to be killed off. So as far as assessing where Canon's going with the EF mount, well, the EF, the EFS, and the EFM there aren't many bodies and lenses still in production, so you can pretty much consider those, well, end of the line, end of life, that's it. You can still purchase these on the second market or on the used market, and in some stores, you can still find these lenses and camera bodies new. But the future is definitely on the RF system. Since Canon has come out with that statement, we've seen the R3, the R5, the R6, the R7, and the R10, and those are just camera bodies alone. The number of lenses we've seen has, well, <laughs> there's been an awful lot of them. Still, there's a lot that we're missing. And for many of us shooting with the R system, we're still using that EF to RF adapter. The success of the Canon EOS R5, the R6, the R3, and just recently the R7 and the R10 has told Canon that the future is definitely on the RF system. They continue to kill off more EFM bodies, more EFM lenses, EFS and EF bodies and lenses. So if you're still invested into the DSLRs, the 5D, the 90D, the 80D, any of the DSLRs, or even the EFM system, don't expect any new product. In fact, as time continues, you're gonna see far fewer products available for those cameras new. However, the used market, you'll still have plenty available. There's tons of EF lenses, EFS lenses, as these have been in production for decades. But the future is definitely on the RF system. Canon Rumors has been the barometer of all things Canon. They recently stated that Canon will be releasing the following four wide-angled L-prime lenses in the next 12 months. They include the Canon RF 12mm f1.8 L-series USM, the RF 24mm 1.4 L-series USM, the 28mm f1.4 L USM, and if you can believe this, which has been rumored for many, many years, the Canon RF 35mm f1.2 USM. And yeah, I've been covering that rumor since 2020. And when it comes to rumors of lenses, well, most of them aren't very accurate. However, when it comes to Canon rumors, they published a story back in, I think it was November of 2020, talking about some 12 to 16 RF lenses that were gonna be coming to the market in the following year. Now, while they got the timeline wrong, they've been very accurate. In fact, I think about a good 75% of those lenses have come out. There have been a few minor errors with the aperture, but pretty well, the primes, the zooms, uh, we, we haven't received any tilt shift lenses yet, and we're still missing some zooms and some others, but Canon rumors has been very accurate. So when they say we're getting four new lenses, four prime L-series lenses, very shortly, well, I'd expect that most likely that's in the first quarter of 2023. I was hoping to see some of those lenses come with a Canon EOS R1, but now the latest from Canon rumors is saying 2024, if you can believe that, 2024. Yeah, I'm not willing to place any wagers on the dates yet. I'm still holding out for a 2023 release. 
but we'll just have to wait and see. But back to the lenses, back to the discontinuation of EF glass, EFS or EFM, the bodies, lenses, all of it. Whether this is a good news or bad news story or whether you're indifferent really depends on your viewpoint. If you really like the Canon 5D Mark IV, the 5D Mark II, the 5D Mark III, or even the 1DX Mark II, the 90D, the 6D or the 7D, if you really like these cameras when they first came out, well, there's no reason not to like them now. The lenses still produce the same quality as they did back then. So do the bodies. And if you're still looking for DSLRs or you're worried if your DSLR might break down, it's not going to be hard to get parts. Canon made millions of these bodies and lenses. So picking up EF or EFS lenses and bodies isn't going to be that hard to do. And if you own a new R system camera, or if you're looking at moving to an old R system camera, that EF to RF adapter works very well. I used it for the first year of producing this channel. When I bought the R5, I didn't immediately buy any lenses except for that 24 to 105. I had that 50 millimeter F 1.2 and adapted to the R5, it worked flawlessly without any issues. Sure, the RF version is sharper and better, but you know, I miss the 50 millimeter F 1.2. And in a way, I feel it was a mistake to go to the RF version, not in terms of quality, but in terms of the price premium that I paid. You see, that shinier, newer looked better to me. And I thought because I'm producing content on this channel, I need to be working with more newer and more modern lenses and camera bodies. But in hindsight, I should have stuck with that 50 millimeter EF F1.2 because it was great. And I could talk to it saying today, I'm still using an EF lens. Despite all the new RF glass that I have here, I still have some EF and EFS lenses. And there's nothing wrong with adapting them to the new system. And if you're still with a Canon 5D Mark IV, the 1DX Mark II, and you've been waiting for the R1 or the R5 Mark II, or even the R6 Mark II or something else, Buy that adapter for $100. Uh, I bought the one with the control ring because it was the only one available. But uh, for $100, you can't go wrong. I haven't had any issues. I haven't heard of any issues, with the exception of some people with a Canon EOS R5C. They had some issues, but they're also using a different operating system. With the Canon EOS R5, I haven't had any issues in any way whatsoever. But if you want to stay up to date on all the latest camera news and rumors, specifically what's happening with the EF mount, the EFM, or new lenses coming to the R system, go ahead and subscribe and choose all notifications. By choosing all notifications, as soon as I publish a new video like this one here, you'll get notified by YouTube so that way you can stay up to date on all the latest news and rumors. So that way you don't have to spend all your valuable time scrubbing the latest Twitter feeds, RSS feeds, which I do, or your favorite websites and YouTube channels or magazines. I cover all the major camera news and rumors, all the major camera news and rumors for all the major brands, all the major models, all right here on one channel, plus I do review. So please go ahead and subscribe and choose all notifications. But that's it for today. Have yourself a great day and a good week. We'll see you again soon.